The first position I'm going to show comes from the defensive posture. It's called the square stance. I bend at the knees. I keep my head up, my hands up. I want to be on my toes. If I'm going to circle from this position, I want to be on my toes as I circle. Short, choppy steps. I never want to cross my feet. Otherwise, what's going to happen is, when I'm here, my opponent can set me up and penetrate. I want to keep a good posture. I don't want to be too high, because as I come up, I leave more room for my opponent to penetrate toward my hips. When I come back down, I'm protecting my hips. He doesn't have much room to penetrate. Let's look at this from the side. From my defensive square stance, I'm going to go into my penetration stance. So here I am. Back down to the defensive stance, bending at the knees, my head's up, my hands are out. To get toward my penetration step, which we'll be using for the single leg, I turn toward my lead leg. My lead arm is opposite from my lead leg. This is going to be used as a measuring stick for my opponent's head, controlling his head. My right arm comes to my knee, blocking my opponent in case he wants to penetrate him on my leg. Here I am. I can lower my level, come up. I don't want to lead with my right arm because it's the same arm as my lead leg. If I do this, I could be leaning on my opponent. It's going to make it easier for him to drag. I don't want that to happen. I want to lead with the opposite hand because my weight isn't on the opposite hand. Let's look at this from a different angle. The other side. Now I'm ready to penetrate my opponent for the single leg. I want to make sure I'm in good stance for the penetration. Again, I lead with the opposite hand of my lead leg, right here, and I want to make sure I lower my level. I never want to be too high, because if I am too high, when I come down, I'm going to come down at a diagonal point, end up on the mat. I want to go through my opponent, end up coming through my opponent. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I want to make sure I have a short distance between myself and my opponent. If I'm too far out and I take a shot and he sprawls back, I'm going to be elongated, like so. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be stuck down there fighting for the single leg. When I shoot, I want to score. I want to get it right away. So I make sure I'm close enough to my opponent. I'm going to come down with my lead knee and my lead hand at the same time. My lead hand covers my opponent's ankle. My lead knee is right behind my opponent's ankle. I bring my right hand around, post it on the mat. I keep my shoulder and head into my opponent's thigh. My eyes are looking forward, my head's up. What happens is if I don't do this, and my head's down, or my hands are right here, my opponent can push my head down. <sighs> okay? But if I'm here, I have a good base, my shoulder's on his thigh, my head's up, I have my weight going into him, here. Okay? I'm in good posture, good position. From this position, I'm posting with my right hand, my left leg, trail leg, is going to follow. I come up, I put his foot on my hip, and I circle toward the back of my opponent. 
right here. The foot remains on my hip. My right hand comes toward my opponent's ankle. And I slowly crawl up my opponent's body and remain under the armpits. What can happen is, a lot of times people will come from the foot on the ankle, will go toward the hips. Then my opponent turns his hips and gets a whizzer in. Now I'm fighting my opponent's hips, and this is going to be trouble. I don't want to be here. So right from the get-go, I want to go toward my opponent's opposite ankle and slowly crawl up his body, not leaving any room for my opponent to turn his hips. So let's go over the single leg again. I want to be in a good stance, my penetration stance, good short distance, lower my level, go to penetrate, right knee comes down, lead hand follows, grab the ankle, my right hand comes inside, post, my trail leg comes back, head's in good position, foot comes to my hip, Low level, good base, good posture right here. Search for the far ankle. Tight. Crawl up. Let's show this again in real speed. Now we're going to go into some setups for the single leg. The first setup I'm going to do is circling my opponent's leg toward me so I can take my penetration step. Here, I'm in my penetration stance. I'm going to step toward my left. My opponent's going to bring his left leg toward my right leg. Right here, I lower my level, time his step, come down. Take the single leg. Show this again from a different angle here. Again, lower my level in my penetration stance. I circle my opponent. I time his step right here. Come down, pose my right hand, come up. I take the single leg. Let's show that in real time. Let's look at the second setup for the single leg. This is the push-pull method. So I get my single leg. Here, I get low on my stance. I go to tie up with my opponent. I lead with my lead hand. Come to his bicep. Round toward the tricep here, hooking. Notice my head is next to his and I'm gonna be penetrating toward the other side. So what happens is, I lower my level, my head look, comes lower than his, so I can get the single leg on his left leg. But first things first, I have the inside tie-ups, these hooks here around his triceps. I'm gonna be pushing with the left, pulling with the right, like so. Push-pull. And I'm not just going to use my upper body to get his left leg to step. If I try to do that, it's not going to come forward. I'm just going to be using a lot of energy. And that's not what I want to do. Notice as I try to use my upper body. It just doesn't work. If I use my hips, where my power is at, step my right leg back a little, I'm going to get his left leg to step as I push and pull. Right here, 
I lower my level, come down. Right here, I need to bring my left hand down to his ankle right away. Right hand pose. One mistake though, guys, happens a lot of times is I leave the hand up. I don't bring it down. I try to come around for the single leg and he just pushes on my elbow. Essentially, breaking my base. So from right here, I need to let go. Post, trail leg comes around. See that again, the push-pull, penetration stance, lead in, push, pull, my hips, lower my level, step back with the right leg a little bit, his leg steps, bring my hand down, turn the corner, heads tight, good position, post right hand, step left leg back. Let's show the push-pull method in real time. Let's look at the cross wrist tie to the single leg. Here, good position penetration stance, looking for the single leg, or tie up to go into the single leg. I approach my opponent, he grabs my wrist with his left hand, he's on my right wrist, right here. All I'm going to do from here is, I turn my right thumb down and away. But before I do that, I go for the cross grab. Grab his wrist, Turn the thumb down and away, and I pull his wrist toward the mat, bringing his left leg to step, bring my right knee down, left hand comes to the ankle, right hand comes down to post, my left trail leg follows, finish the single leg. Again, let's look at the cross wrist grab for the single leg. My penetration stance, my opponent grabs my wrist, I use my left hand, cross grab his left wrist, turn my right hand thumb down and away, bring his wrist toward the mat, getting his left leg to step, bring my right knee down, left hand comes toward the ankle, right hand comes to post on the mat, my left leg is going to come back. Let's look at the cross wrist grab to a single leg in real speed. Now I've taken the single leg shot and his leg ends up on the inside. I'm going to do the head to the knee finish from here. From right here, I want to be in good position, have my legs Good position here, just as in my square stance. I don't want to have my back hunched over. I don't want to have my legs too close. I don't want him reaching down his right legs for my left ankle, trying to pick it or anything like that. It's just going to be too much energy for me. Right here, a good base. I have good power. From right here, I don't want to just hold the leg like this. I have a weak grip. I want to bring my left arm down toward his ankle. Now my left thigh comes up, as does my hip. I use the power of my hip. Right here, I switch, elbow deep, right here. I can even grab my shoulder, grab my arm. And now if he tries to kick the leg out, it's not going anywhere. I have a good tight hold. Notice I'm still in good position here, good wide base. My head's up, I'm going to reach for his head, bring his head to his knee, and I'm going to circle him back 
and down. Let's go over that again. I have this single leg to the inside. I'm going to bring the left hand down toward his ankle, covering right here. And I'm going to bring my left thigh up right here. If I'm holding here, guys, this is loose grip. He's going to just turn his foot and he can kick out. That's what I don't want. So in order for me to counter that, I come down, I lift with my hips, I get elbow deep here. My elbow is tight. Now I reach for his head. If he starts to reach for my head before I reach for his head, I need to pop this off, come to his head. Another way is I can come inside here, come to his head, I bring his head to his knee, I circle him down and back. My right leg comes to his right ankle, just trips, circle him back. Show that again in real speed from the single leg. Come down. Let's move toward our second finish to the single leg when our opponent's leg ends up on the inside. Here again, his leg is on the inside. I bring my left hand down toward his heel. My left leg comes up, elbow deep, good position, good posture. I go to reach his head. My opponent's giving me a hard time. Maybe he's fighting my hand, not letting me grab here. Pushing it away, I grab his head, he pushes my elbow, pushes away. I'm just not getting a good grasp on him when I go to grab. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fake like I'm going high, and he's going to bring his left hand up to defend here, and I'm just going to come toward his thigh, right here, inside, and I'm going to cup it. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to step my right leg toward his right ankle, a little bit above his heel and circle back. Again, I have my opponent's leg on the inside. I go down toward the heel, lift with my thigh. Right here, I'm elbow deep. I try to go towards his head. He's giving me trouble. He's got good balance. Right here, I act like I'm going high. I come low, I cup the inner thigh, and I turn him back down and toward the mat. Circle him down. Again, I'm gonna finish the single leg from the inside. I'm gonna cup the thigh. This is the second finish on the inside in real time. This is the last finish when our opponent has his leg on the inside. Here again, I come my left hand down to the heel, my left thigh comes up, right here, I'm elbow deep. This time I try to grab the head, maybe he's pushing off, controlling my, my hands, my wrists, okay, I can't get a good grasp, I try to cup his thigh, he's still controlling me, he's just got a good balance, sometimes the guy is really tall, I'm trying to get him down push him down, pull, go for the head. It's just not working, okay? I'm just having a hard time taking my opponent down. So what I'm gonna do from here, is I wanna stay in good position, okay? Elbow deep. My right hand is gonna come under now, under his calf, a little bit above the calf. As it comes under, I'm gonna drop my level. So right here, now I switch. My left hand is gonna come up, over and around, and now it's gonna come, my left hand to the back of my head, right away. Because if I maintain this position, he's gonna turn his foot and come out. I don't want that to happen. So, therefore, I come back up. I have his leg trapped now. Now I can come under the shoulder. Now I come up high. 
I'm in much better position right now. Now I can grab his thigh and walk toward him. And finish. So let's see that again. I have my opponent's leg again on the inside and I want to finish. I come down to the ankle, lift my left thigh, I'm elbow deep, I try to grab the head, he gives me trouble, I can't grab it, I can't get a good hold, maybe he's got good balance, I try to cup the thigh, he's not letting me cup the thigh, he's fighting my hand, fighting my hand right here, he's just got good balance, it's not working, what I'm going to do is come under with my right arm and I'm going to change my level, here, here, now my left arm comes over and right away I can't stay here, comes right to the head. Notice his heel is on my shoulder. Now I'm gonna, my level's gonna come up again, right here. Now I'm closer to him. I bring my hips closer to him. I could just press on his thigh, trip back, right here, and finish. Let's look at the third finish to the single leg again in real time. Now I have my opponent's leg in between my leg, and I'm going to finish in a position that's called running the pipe. First thing I need to explain is, this is the position I'm going to have his leg pinched between my legs. It's kind of like a duck walk, okay? The square stance is a little bit more outside, I'm just kind of bringing my legs together a bit more. The same concept, my head's up, good base, good position. Right here, I have his leg pinched. My head's up into his chest. My right arm comes under, through. My shoulder is high on his thigh, right here. My left hand comes under. See, the problem that a lot of people face is sometimes they're too far away, their legs are together, they're straight, they're not bent, bad position. It's very heavy very strong, it's going to take a lot of energy to hold him, and I'm not in good position. I'm going to be trying to pull him down with my upper body here. I'm not going to get very far. When I have it tight, my head's into him, all the weight's on this leg, uh, it's going to be a lot of force here, it's going to be hard for him to stay up, and when I turn, I step my right foot back, I keep that pressure on his thigh, I keep my head into his chest, and he falls right to the mat. So again, my opponent's leg is between my leg. I keep my head in his chest, shoulder pressure on his thigh, my hand position is like so. Because if it's the opposite, on top or grabbing the wrist, he's going to pull the hand the top hand, kick his leg back. So, if I have my right hand on top, he pulls the top hand, okay? He, his leg is, is holding that for me. He's not going to go anywhere. And then if he pulls the bottom hand, okay, tries to pull it up, I have the top hand protecting it. I'm in good tight position right here. And then I could just run the pipe. I step my right leg back. My hands come down, like so, right like this. So, I'm not going to let go of him, try anything like this. I don't want him to grab the hands. Take a chance. I keep them together, tight. Right here, head's in his chest, shoulders in his thigh. Step my right leg back, bring the hands down. Let's try running the pipe where my opponent has his leg in between my leg, once again, but in real time. Here again, I have my opponent's leg between my leg, similar to running the pipe, okay, except this time it's going to be hard for me to run the pipe 
My opponent may have good balance. It's just not happening for me. And I'm going to have to switch off so I can finish him. So I try to step back, run the pipe. It's not working. He's got good balance, strong hips. Stepping maybe his right leg out a little bit far. Okay. It's hard for me. So what I'm going to do is I step back, lower my level right here. Now I'm going to spring forward and attack his far knee. Not the far foot. I'm going to attack the far knee right here. Just drive straight through. Not down and diagonal. My feet on my toes right here. My shoulder is covering his knees very tight. I crawl up to finish. Again, I have my opponent's leg in between my legs. I have it tight. I'm trying to run the pipe. It's just not happening. I step back, lower my level, and I attack his far knee. If I go for the ankle, sometimes I'm going to get in bad position. I come down, he comes for a whizzer. Okay? I'm going to run into trouble. So, all I do is I step back here and I'm just going to shoot for the far knee. On my toes, covering his legs, crawl up. Again, my opponent has his legs in between mine. I'm in good position. Knees are tight, good base, heads up in his chest. Try to run the pipe, I can't. Step back, lower my level, shoot for the far knee. Collapse my opponent, I stay on my toes. I keep my shoulder tight against his legs and I crawl up. One more time, I have my opponent's leg in between mine. We're gonna do it in real time where I step back Attack his far knee. Now I have my opponent's leg on the outside, right here. Again, I'm elbow deep. Same hand position as when I was running the pipe. Good balance, feet wide apart, not together. Right here, my head's up. For this position, I'm going to kick with my right foot above his heel, and I'm going to tap his head with my left hand. So it's gonna be right here. So again, I have my opponent's leg in the air. I want to bring him down to the mat. So I'm going to kick with my right foot above his right heel and I'm going to tap with my left hand simultaneously. It's almost like a, a slap to the head. Here. Good position. Come up, I kick, tap. Let's show in real time. My opponent's leg is on the outside. I take him down with a head tap. Let's look at another finish to the single leg when my opponent has his leg on the outside. From this position again, I'm elbow deep. What I'm going to do here is a little bit more tricky. I'm not going to try to kick and tap here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to step my right leg back and I'm going to lift my elbow. 
This is what it looks like. I'm right here. My elbow comes up. The same time, my right leg comes back. Here, another angle. So here, I have my opponent's leg in the air. I'm going to step my right foot back. My elbow comes high. He's going to drop to the mat. Again, my opponent's leg is on the outside. I'm going to bring my elbow up high. And I'm going to step my right leg back. My opponent's going to come toward the mat. Let's try again in real time. My opponent's leg is on the outside. I lift my elbow and step my right leg back. Here's another variation of the single leg on the outside. This position I'm not going to finish. You still have the two options of the head tap or lifting the elbow. But this is a common position that happens when I get the single leg on the outside. I get real deep. I have a low level. My opponent tries to grab my head and he's pushing it down. He's working it down. A lot of times when my opponent has my head down, it's going to cause me to bring my body up because I'm tired here, bending at the waist, bad posture. Eventually he's pushing it down. He steps his leg down. I can no longer hold on. So when I am in this position here, I'm going to maintain a good base throughout the position. Now, before he holds my head, I have to be aware when he does put my head down, I need to follow his hand. Not try to fight it. It's too much energy. Right here, if I'm coming back, put your hand on my head. Okay, that's too much energy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to circle out and come up. Right here. Now at the same time that I'm circling, my right shoulder is coming through. Again, I circle out and come back up and look to finish. So let's try again. Single leg on the outside. All I'm going to do is I'm going to get my head out. Let's see me peeking my head out in real time. This time I have my opponent's leg in the air and his leg is on the outside. And this time he starts to control my head. But instead of coming out to the side, I pop under and go with it. From this position here, if I keep my toes how they are, he can grab the laces or the top of my foot. He could extend my leg out. He could roll. I don't want to be in this position. So I keep my laces or top of my foot, if I'm not wearing shoes, down. And I'm sitting on top of them. So now he can't control me. He can't get a hold of my laces. Okay? So from this position, I'm going to keep my elbows in. Because I don't want him twisting me up with his legs if my elbow's high. I keep my elbow in. I hold his leg down. And I push. My right pops up. So one goes down, the other goes up. Right here, from this position, I want to maintain tight hips right away. Here, left hand comes down, covering his hip on this side. I turn toward his legs, connecting the hip. What happens is, from
from this position here, if I turn toward the head right away, he can follow me and I just wasted so much energy trying to get the takedown. And that's what I don't want. Once again, I have my opponent's leg in the air and I'm going to go through the crotch underneath if he grabs the head. Right here, this position top of my feet, laces are toward the mat, sitting on my heels, my elbow is tight inside, I hold with my left, my right hand, I pop up, tight right away, I turn it toward the legs. We come here hip to hip, but never again, never toward the head this way. So let's show real time. I have my opponent's leg on the outside. I'm going to duck my head under when he pushes the head and finish. Hold one, pop one. Now I'm going to finish the single leg from on the mat when I get elongated and get in bad position. It happens a lot. It's tough to get. It's tough to penetrate. Now I want you guys to watch this position when I'm grabbing his knee and grabbing his ankle because obviously we don't want anyone to get hurt as I'm turning his ankle, turning the knee. I don't want anyone to end up hurting themselves, hurting their knees. Let's make sure we watch our opponent, take our time with it, you know, Obviously, we want it to be friendly. It's a sport. So again, I'm on the single leg, but this time it's on the mat. I'm elongated. My opponent has his legs sprawled back. The first thing I'm going to do from here is crawl my knees up. I crawl my knees. The second thing I do is I pull his leg in with the strength of my shoulders. I keep my head on the inside. The third thing I'm going to do is tripod. That is where I'm going to use this position on the inside. I'm going to put, get on my toes and I'm going to lift my hips up. I circle around. The whole time I circle around, I keep shoulder pressure on his thigh toward his hamstring. My right hand is attached to his thigh, right here, above the knee. My left hand comes to his ankle. The ankle is on my hip right now. In this position, I switch. My left hand comes on top of my right hand. I lower my level. My shoulder pressure pushes his thigh, pushes him down. Now let's look at it from the back. From right here, I search for the far ankle. I come up and finish. Now, some of the problems from this position happen from the back here when I'm trying to finish. I have his ankle on my hip, and what happens a lot of the times is he has his foot out, it's hard for me to get right here, I'm searching for the ankle, and instead I go for the hip. Now he turns into me, gets the wizard, and I just lost the effort right there, wasted my energy. So if this happens, where he has his leg out, his right leg, here, I'm searching for that ankle. I just can't reach and get it, I'm going to circle my body toward his foot. I can cover it with my leg, scoop it up with the hand, and I slowly crawl up and finish.
Let's show the single leg in real time finish on the mat. From this position, I'm going to finish the single leg on the mat. I'm going to come up to the position where I hold one and pop one, but I'm going to run into trouble and I need to know what to do from this position. First things first, I come in for the single leg, I get elongated. I'm going to come in, I'm going to post here, bring my leg, my knees under, post, come up, I'm going to be in the over, under, hold one pop one position. And you're going to see what I do from there. It's called a crab walk. So I've taken a shot of my opponent. I'm elongated. I'm going to get my knees up. And I'm going to post my left hand on the mat. Get my head deep. And I'm up. From this position, I hold one and I'm ready to pop one. This time, he grabs my, my waist, starts to turn me, I come over, let's get a different angle, right here, I need to know what to do. So if he keeps turning, he can come up, I don't want this to happen. So from right here, I'm going to do a, what's called a crab walk, I'm going to kind of walk my hands back. My hips are above his head. What I'm going to do is, I go toward the head that I feel is on the outside. So, I go toward the side where the head is on the outside. So here, his head is toward my right side. So what I'm going to do is, I hip heist my right leg under my left. Hip heist means my right leg just comes under like so. So I come here. My hips come toward the mat, my right hand comes under, left hand comes under the head. Right here, I switch for wrestling, I'm in a pinning position, getting back points for jiu-jitsu or grappling, I can come get side control. Again, I'm going to show the finish from the mat to the single leg. When I have the over or under position, hold one, pop one, my opponent rolls me over. Post, come up, right here. I hold one, pop one, try to do it. He's got a tight hold of me, maybe his legs are tight up top, whatever. Oh, body lock, I go toward the mat. If his legs are tight to my head, I need to hold one again, pop one, same thing. Come out. Let's get a different angle here. There you go. Right here, I'm going to bring my hips up to a crab position here. I'm going to drop my right leg through my left. Right here. Come under. Right here. Jiu Jitsu or grappling. Hip to hip. Now I'm going to finish the single leg real time from on the mat from the crab walk position. 